Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have an older Cherokee as you can see behind me here. Uh, this I think is a 99 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the problem we have today is that we, we, the, the owner was in the vehicle, stepped on the brake, pedal went right to the floor. Um, they got out, they looked underneath the vehicle and it was leaking something on the right front. After I get it up on the lift here and take a look at it, I see the line blew out on the right side, not the rubber hose, but the actual line that brings the, uh, the brake fluid from up on the, uh, underneath the hood down to the, to the right front wheel. Um, the vehicle is actually extremely rusty underneath the bottom over here, so we're going to see how it goes. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove that broken section of line that's in there, and we're going to replace the line from the right front wheel up around under the hood over to the uh, probably the master cylinder or maybe the ABS unit. I didn't look to see yet. Um, if possible, we're going to try to cut the line and we're going to um, flare it and put a, a, a connection on it, not a compression union, but we're going to actually put on a, a line a union itself. Let me show you the difference between a compression union and a line union. Okay, well, I can't show you what a, a line union looks like. Um, basically what it is, is it's just a coupling that joins two brake lines together without flaring them or, or anything else. A compression union on the other hand, which is this piece right here, this is something you never want to use on a brake line. It's easy to use, very simple, but never ever, ever, in case you don't understand that, ever use a compression union. If you put a compression union on the line, it'll go on screw down and when it, I think we're going to lose battery power, hold that thought. So the problem with the compression union is you'll put it onto the line. When you put it on the line, this will screw onto the top of the line like that. When you tighten this down, that little piece of brass that you saw inside there is going to actually crush down the inside diameter of the brake line and by crushing down the inside diameter, you'll apply the brakes and you'll have a restricted uh, brake fluid flow to the wheel that you put that union on. So never use that union, uh, or compression union I should say. The other union you're going to use is going to be a, a, a line union that you join two brake lines together and they're flared and they go together. They never cause a problem with the, uh, with the restriction of, uh, of brake fluid. What we're going to do, boy, even at 7.15 or 7.30 in the morning the phones are ringing. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a kit. Now, I'm not pushing this kit over any other kit. There's lots of flaring kits out there. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a kit sort of like this here, and we're going to do this flaring up here that flares the outside portion of the line and thereby does not reduce the inside diameter of the, um, of the brake line itself. So this is the kit we're going to use. Let me bring you up there. I'm going to show you what it looks like and why we have to replace that line. So come on, let's take a walk. Okay. All right, this is what the, uh, the brake line itself looks like. You can see that it's in pretty poor condition. Let's get some more light in here so you can see better. You can see it's in pretty poor condition inside there. This is the line that's rotted away. So we are gonna, we're gonna try to take that fitting out right there. It's probably gonna be a 11, 12 millimeter, something like that. We're gonna try to take that out of this rubber line right here because right there is where the line blew out. You can see that one section right there, right there. All right. Now, before you do anything as far as making the line, you want to come over and you want to make sure your bleeder valves open up on your uh, caliper right here because if these bleeder valves here, this one and the one on the other side, if they don't open, then you have to replace the caliper as well. Well, you, you need to get that bleeder valve open. If you don't open it, you can't get the air out of it, you're not going to get your brake pedal back up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go underneath the hood, and as you can see, this section of line here is extremely rusty. We're going to go under the hood and see if we have a section of line that's nice and clean. If it's clean, we're going to be able to, um, to actually get in there and flare it and put the new line on. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come underneath here, and we're going to take this off right here. So let me get my, uh, my tools and... Uh, Let's get started. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this out to make sure that that totally comes out. We're going to open up this clip here, which as you can see, we're probably not going to be able to save it, because it's pretty... Oh no, there it goes, it opens. Take that off like that. Now these here are pretty stripped out, so we're going to try, most likely it's an 11 millimeter, but it doesn't look like that's going to fit. Now whenever you do these, you always want to use a line wrench. Um, always a line wrench because actually it'll help get that out. Um, in this case it may not, but we'll see how it goes. Probably not, because this is practically totally round. Unplug that air line. Oh Alright, most of the time you never want to use vice grip to get that out of there. So we're going to get on here with a pair of vice grips and we'll try to break it loose. I can't believe it actually came out. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this totally out. This, as you can see, it broke. But we need to get this out so I can see if this... There's two different kind of lines. One line is a uh, concave and the other is a convex. So we're going to be careful we don't get any rust inside this hole here because we don't want to get rust in where the new line is going to screw into, so we're going to clean that off. Okay, so this, this is what they call concave. And you can see how that, see how this piece here is, is actually tapered inward. The other one is convex, which is actually out, or better known as the bubble on the end of it. So we need to have this one here. It's actually 3 16 and it's concave. So that's the line we're gonna order. And uh, this we're just gonna cut off right now. And we're gonna go up to the top. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to cut it, because as you can see, it's in pretty pretty bad shape, so let's um, let's take it off right here. Like that. And now we'll lower it down and we're going to continue up top. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. This, as you can see, is the brake line down here. You can see where it comes in right through the side of the uh, of the uh, the body right here. We're going to take this line here out and we're going to reposition. We're going to take this line here, pull it out. And as you can see, that part of the line is in actually pretty good condition down there. So we're going to we're going to come in here, we're going to take this line out. We're going to cut it down here and we're going to flare it and uh, we're going to put the new union in here because as you can see, it runs in the back over there and uh, this fellow wants to do it as as least expensive as possible, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here, pull this line out, we're going to cut it, and we're going to flare it. So, uh, all right, let me get set up over here, and we're going to continue. Okay, sorry about the noise. I know it's going to be a little noisy here today, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take that line out, so we're going to pull the, uh, the line out of the uh, connectors. We're just going to squeeze these pieces together so we can get the line out. Okay. Now that we have the line out, we're going to come in here with a tool like this to cut the line. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now the key here is that you need to cut it in a clean section someplace where it's not rusted. So 
So what we need to do is we need to put that, that line cutter on here. I'll bring you in, I'll show you. See, we have the line cutter on here, like this. And now this section of line right here is nice and clean. And we need a long section of line like this so that we can actually flare it. So, uh, all right, we're gonna take a, uh, this is a little difficult to turn. So we're gonna just turn a little bit at a time. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna rotate it just like that. And we're gonna keep on doing that until we cut through the line totally. You want to just go a little at a time. You don't want to do it, uh, cut it too quickly because you'll you'll collapse the line. Once we have that line cut, we can just take this tool back off, and we can take this out. As you can see, this line is, is dead, but that section up there is still fairly clean, so we're going to flare the other part of the line over here and we'll put it back together. So let me grab the flaring tool and we'll continue. Okay, this may be a little difficult for you to see what I'm doing here, so I'm going to move this up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to, we're going to have to proceed just the way it is. <coughs> okay, <coughs> now before we flare that line, we need to take a fitting like this and put this fitting on there because we're going to make that flare right there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the end right here because we need that that fitting right there. Now this line doesn't really matter because I'm going to be throwing it away. It's just, I need these fittings. Okay, so, now that we have these fittings right here, we'll put them down here. And this line is now trash. But I just want to point this out to you. You see this fitting here? This piece here is going to be going on the line, on that line over there. It's going to slide on just like that. And then we're going to flare this to look just like this. So I know it's going to be tough for you to see what I'm doing there, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So now we're going to take this and we're going to slide it on the line, all the way up the line, just like that. And now we're going to use our, our deburring tool. And what we're going to do is right inside here, we need to take this and clean this out just like that to get any little burrs off of that right there. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. Next thing we'll do is we're going to take our tool like this. We're going to take this. Now, obviously, this is the, uh, the line that we're going to throw away. We're going to take this line. We're going to put it in here just like this. We're going to take this tool here, which is our, um, our tool for... Um, making the 
double flare. Let me show you this real quick. We're going to put it through so that the line sticks through like that. We're going to just snug that down just a little bit. And now what we're going to do is you're going to take this piece here and we're going to take that, so that sorry about that in place. You see how this piece, that line is as tall, that line is as tall as this little piece right here. So now we're just going to take this and we're going to tighten this down. Now we're not doing it on here, we're going to do it on that line right there. But gonna, this is what I'm going to do, just like this. Snug it down just like this. It'll be on there, like I said. We're going to put this piece in there like that. just like this. See? And now we're going to take this and we're going to tighten this down. We're going to tighten it down until this piece right here is flush with this deck right there just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this back off just like this we're going to take this piece here out and then we're going to put this over the top like that And then we turn this down, all the way down, until it's flat, flush, right up against the top like that. And then we're going to take this piece back off. Like this. And then we're going to open this up, and this one, take it out. And that is what it's supposed to look like, just like this. So this one, this flare, is what I'm going to do on that line right there, so just so you know what I'm doing. All right, so this is trash, but I just want to show you what I'll be doing on this line right here. So, uh, all right, let me do that real quick. took this piece here, this, when we lined it up on there to make sure it's the right height, which I can see by looking at it, it is the right height. Now we're going to tighten up this piece here. I'll get this all set up down here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. We're going to use our deburring tool. We're going to take that little fitting there, put it in here, and then we're going to put this tool on it.
Okay, now we'll tighten this up. show you what I'm doing. Okay. See what I did? Pushed it down like that and now we actually put the first uh, the bubble portion of it onto the line itself and now we're going to take out this piece right in here that adapter and then we're going to make that line. Alright, now you made sure that you had your fitting on there just like that because that fitting it needs to be on before you do anything. this we're going to take out that little piece right there put it in here and now we'll put this back inside that line That's how we flared it right now, and now we'll take that off, and we should have a perfect flare. see light is dying. So we'll shut that off now. Okay. And then we'll take this off here. Open it up. Alright, let me just redo that light. And we'll come right back. Okay, sorry about that. We lost our lighting over here. All right, so let me bring you in. I'll show you what that looks like now. This is the flare itself, and as you can see, it looks just like the flare that we that we previously cut off. So now we can put a uh, the new line in through here. So let's go down the bottom. We'll run that new line in, and then we'll continue with that. Okay, now obviously this line is way too long, as you can see it's pretty long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the line off right over here so we have a shorter section to work with. So again, we're going to do this just temporarily. It's not going to be the finished product, but we're just going to do this just to have less line to actually fumble with.
that section, we're just going to put that on the ground for now. Now these pieces here, we need both this end and this end because as you can see, this end is the flared end and this end is not flared. So we need to flare that end as well. So we will do this once it's up into the car. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to... This, <coughs> this is the old line that came off. What we're going to do is we're going to put these bends in this line right here so that we can get it back in the vehicle. Now, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> Let's take this one off here for now. We'll put this back on. What we're going to do is we need this one here to have a bend in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a gradual bend in it like this. Now they sell, they sell a, a kit that you could put on here to make the bends in it, but as you can see, it's fairly easy. One thing you never want to do is you never want to kink the line. If that line kinks right there, throw it away and put a new one on. All right, so now we have this line here made to this. So this will go in here just like this. This one, you go, we're going to bring this over just a little bit so that we can bring it up over here and back through there. So we're just going to bend this just a little bit, just like this. Now these lines bend fairly easy, but this will bring it over and then we're going to bring it up. Okay. So now we have that bent. Now we need to get this in through here, like that. And then we need to get the bend in here to bring it down over there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a, a little cap on this here so we don't get any dirt or grease inside there. And we're going to come in this right here. And I'm just going to go up top and bend that a little bit. Just going to catch this in here loosely by hand first. Now you want to catch it by hand so you don't strip it. And after you got it caught by hand, you just snug it down. We're not going to tighten it. All right, so that's pretty close to where it has to be. And now we're going to bend this line in like that so that we can put this back over it, like this. We're not going to do that yet. Now we're going to go up top and we're going to bend the line up top and then we're going to take this back off and we're going to flare this on the bench. So uh, let's go back up top and we'll continue up there. Okay, now you can see the line is up in here where, it, where it's approximately going to be. And now we're going to bend it to bring it over so that we can connect up into this one right here. So we're going to take a little bend in here. Okay, it's going to be easier to flare this line off the car truck, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to bend it over to where it belongs. We're going to mark it. Like that. And now we're going to disconnect the lock. The line on the bottom, we're going to take that line out. Okay, and now we're going to take our cut 
there like this, and we're going to cut right on that line. Let's get some light over here, maybe you can see better. We're going to cut it right on this line. to make it fit. Okay, so we just we just cut this line. And now that we have it cut off, we're gonna flare this. But remember, before you flare it, you have to put that fitting back on there like that because now we're gonna flare it like this on this end. Okay. This is extremely tight, that it doesn't slide at all. All right, now we're going to take our deburring tool. Put our piece on there like that. until it's flush on the bottom there. Okay. Take this off. Thank you. Switch over and grab that. So let's put this line back through there and uh, we're going to put this back together. Now. Okay, now that the line has actually been flared the way it's supposed to be, this is the type of fitting you want to use. You see how it's tapered inside? They actually fit together. So this one goes over the top just like this and this one goes back inside the vehicle so we're going to snake this back through the vehicle and we're going to bring this up underneath the top right here and we'll reconnect it okay now just so you know that line we put back in through the bottom and now it's still loose down here as you can see we're going to join these lines together right here Okay, so now we got it snug. Now we're gonna tighten this up. We're gonna use a line wrench and a wrench like this to hold it. Okay. 
So now that we have that tightened up, we're going to push this back down. We're going to clip it in here where it belongs. And now we're going to go down the bottom. We'll tighten it up down the bottom now as well. connect it down to the bottom, and then we're going to bleed the, uh, the whole system out. Okay, now that we have everything connected up top, we're going to re reattach this, this other line here and tighten it in. line out of the way and now we have to uh, uh, bleed the system out so uh, let's bleed it and then we're going to wrap this job up and get it done so we're going to put some brake fluid in and then we'll come right back okay now we got the brake fluid in we're going to let the fluid gravity bleed out of there first and then we're going to go into the vehicle we're going to pump it and we're going to bleed the brakes out so uh, all right let's uh let's continue with that okay uh give me one second Okay, we're going to open up the bleeder valve. Now this entire line is full of air, so we have to open it up like this, and then you have to have your assistant step down. Step to the floor easy. On the floor. It is now. Let it up, and we close it. It's off. And we open it again. Step. What we're doing now is we're pushing... Down. Keep it there. What we're doing now is we're pushing all the air through the system. Put it up. Up. Step down. Down. Okay, we close the valve up. Pump it now a couple times. Nothing, right? Nothing. Okay, step down. Down. Let it up. Up. And we're going to open it, step down, down, let it up, up, step down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay, we have no fluid coming through here yet, so we're just going to continue this until we get fluid coming out. Let it up. Up. Step down. Down. Okay, you can see that it's starting to come out now. Keep it down. Let it up. Up. All right, step easy now, Ed. Easy. Let me know when you're on the floor. Okay. Pump it. Coming up a little bit. Okay, hold it down then. Okay. Hang on a second. One second. That's for me. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you. Now that we have some fluid pumping through there, we're just going to continue to pump and hold, pump and hold until we get this coming out clean. All right. Ed, let it up. Up. Step down. Down. Keep it there. Let it up. Up. Step down. Down. Okay, now we're going to go to the other side and we're going to re repeat this process on the other side. And then we'll come right back over here. You have any pedal there at all, Ed? Uh, yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Not perfect, but it's coming up. I right, let it up. Let it up. Okay. Yep, pump it. Okay, so now we have the air bled out of the other side. Now we're going to come and do the same thing on this side here. Open. Alright. Let's see if we can use a wrench. Down. Alright, pump it up. Step down. Okay. Let me know when you're on the floor. Down. Feels pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. Let it up. Yeah, let it up. Okay, we're done, Ed. Okay, so now that we have all the air out of the system, we're going to put the wheels back on. We're going to clean that all off, of course, with brake fluid. Once we clean that off, we're going to make sure we have no leaks in the line union that we just put up underneath the hood, but I'm confident it's going to be okay. And then uh, we're going to put the wheels on, take it for a ride, and it's out the door and on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.